What's up, everybody, and welcome to episode one of the Industrial Packaging Podcast with me, your host, Nathan Dewey, Digital Marketing Specialist at Industrial Packaging. Okay, so today's topic is going to be shrink wrap, also known as shrink film. It's one of the most popular packaging materials in the world, literally running on millions of packaging lines throughout the United States and the entire globe for that matter. It's used to package everything from CDs and DVDs to various different types of food, including produce and frozen food products, uh, consumer electronics, and so many other applications. Now, we're gonna focus on the three most popular types of shrink wrap, which include polyvinyl chloride, polyolefin, and polyethylene. So, without further ado, let's get down to business and discuss the different types of shrink wrap. Okay, so there are three main wraps used in shrink packaging material for protecting and securing products for the retail and shipping environments, which are polyvinyl chloride, or PVC, polyethylene, or PE, and polyolefin, or POF. Each have different capabilities and characteristics that make them suitable for specific applications. So, what are the main differences between these types of shrink wrap, and which is the best choice for your packaging needs? Let's continue and we'll find out. So, each of these three wraps can be co-extruded into multi-layer wraps with different additives that offer specific barrier properties that are required for shelf life or appearance. Shrink wraps can be formed into flattened roll stock, bags, overwrap, banding, and tubing, and they add a form of tamper-resistant protection to packaged goods. If you aren't sure that you are using the ideal wrap for your application, here's a breakdown of the three types that we are discussing today. First, we have PVC shrink wrap. Once the most commonly used shrink packaging material in the world due to its lightweight and inexpensive multi-purpose capabilities, PVC shrink wrap has since taken a backseat to polyethylene and polyolefin for various reasons. Most specifically due to the dangers in health during creation and incineration, as well as issues with sustainability. In its rigid form, PVC is durable and is used in many different types of applications, including construction projects and houseware products. In terms of packaging, PVC is used in applications including blister and clamshell packaging, as well as flexible applications, which include shrink wrap and bagging. Polyvinyl chloride is a combination of three elements, carbon, hydrogen, and chlorine. It is recommended for use in well-ventilated facilities due to the strong and potentially harmful odors that are released when heated. Due to its chemical composition and these harmful byproducts released during its creation and decomposition, PVC has been banned in many countries. Brands that hold high regard to corporate and social responsibility have been joining other countries in banning PVC in packaging. This is important to consider if you have toyed with the idea of using it in your packaging, and more so if you are already using it. The Walmart Sustainability Playbook specifically targets PVC reduction in packaging materials for the manufacturers of products sold in their stores. Now, I'd like to make an addendum to this and just say that this information is based specifically on older formulations of PVC. There are currently available new formulations that are both FDA approved for certain applications for food packaging and are also safe for the other applications we discussed. But again, it's a newer formulation and the older formulations of this particular type of film can still be dangerous. Okay, moving on, we have POF or polyolefin shrink wrap. Polyolefin shrink wrap is an extremely durable and versatile premium shrink wrap. It has taken the place of PVC mentioned above in many applications and is also an FDA approved food safe material. Polyolefin materials are available with different characteristics including cross-linked wrap that provides high tensile strength and incredible clarity for high speed packaging applications. Cross-linked wrap also prevents the buildup on sealing components of your packaging machinery. With added strength, the ability to create longer rolls of wrap with thinner gauges available that allow for less roll changeover and increased efficiency and productivity. Polyolefin shrink wrap has excellent puncture resistance and seal strength, allowing for irregular shaped items to have excellent protection throughout its supply chain life cycle. POF is available in thicknesses as low as 35 gauge. However, it is more commonly found in 45, 60, 75, and 100 gauge. The versatility and fairly low cost that POF has to offer for multiple machines and packaging forms make it a go-to form of protective packaging for manufacturers of any size. In some instances, polyolefin will need perforations added to the wrap. These are tiny holes added to the wrap before the application, which allows air to escape during the shrinking process for a smooth package. Pre-perforated shrink wrap is available by many suppliers for this reason. Okay, moving on, we are going to discuss polyethylene shrink wrap. Polyethylene is a type of polyolefin, 
meaning it is a single monomer wrap that is formed with the addition of ethylene during polymerization. PE is used in several forms of flexible protective packaging, including shrink wrap and stretch wrap, and performs very differently for each application. There are multiple forms that PE can take, but the three most common would be low-density polyethylene, or LDPE, linear low-density polyethylene, or LLDPE, and high-density polyethylene, or HDPE. Each of these are best used in different industrial applications, but for shrink packaging, LDPE would be the most common form. Benefits of using LDPE over the other forms of shrink packaging would be added strength and durability for heavier, larger items like multi-packs of beverages. These wraps are also printable and have excellent graphics added while still maintaining the image and the strength required. Where POF and PVC are limited in gauge thickness to usually around 100 gauge, higher gauges of PE are possible up to 1,200 gauge. These thicknesses are used in marine industrial applications like shrink wrapping a boat for storage. The disadvantages of PE for shrink are that it doesn't have a high shrink rate, usually around 20%, and it has significantly lower clarity than the other wraps previously mentioned. Okay, next we're going to discuss the differences between shrink wrap and stretch wrap. Shrink wrap and stretch wrap are often confused as they look very similar, but they perform very differently. When PE is used in a shrink wrap application, it is loosely placed over a single item or multiple items and will shrink around the item when heat is applied, creating a tight, tamper-resistant seal of protection. When PE is used in stretch applications, it is formulated differently to be able to stretch around the items. The elastic memory of the wrap, along with its ability to cling to itself, keeps a tight layer of protection around the items. Stretch wrap is generally used for palletizing, also known as unitizing, multiple items on a pallet to keep them from shifting during shipment. Stretch wrap usually stretches about 1 to 300 percent, where shrink wrap will typically only stretch to around 50 to 75 percent before breaking. Okay, so just going to have some final thoughts wrapping up right now on shrink wrap and stretch wrap. No matter what the application, knowing your options can help you save money in the long run. It's always best to connect with a supplier that can answer any of your questions that you haven't found clear answers to. They can also help you with custom packaging solutions that match your needs for efficiency, protection, and visual presentation. If you are using shrink wrap to package your products, we've created a shrink wrap cheat sheet to reduce your packaging costs and increase your packages per roll. You can find this linked below. Once you have decided on the right wrap for your specific packaging needs, take a look at a minimum of three vendors. Take some time to review product ratings on different brands of wrap. Contact the three chosen vendors and ask each of them for a quote. Take notes on the quality of the customer service experience from each vendor. Also note the dynamics of the wrap products offered, including price, shipping costs, and expected time of delivery. You will want to choose a vendor who treats you like a human rather than a number. If possible, speak to a human being and avoid companies that use completely automated phone systems with robotic or artificial voice commands and prompts. Sometimes, paying a little extra for better customer service is worth a few extra dollars. In the end, you will want to find a balance between quality customer service and quality products. By utilizing all the information above, you will be armed with the knowledge needed to make the best choice in regards to your wrap and the supplier you buy from. Well folks, that's going to do it for this week's episode, and I want to thank you for tuning in. Join me next week when we discuss the different types of stretch wrap. But for now, this is Digital Marketing Specialist from Industrial Packaging, Nathan Doobie, signing out.